Wow, what an amazing song there from Brian Courtney Wilson. Worth fighting for. Right here live out of Studio 236 at FM HDMS, your digital radio one station. Good morning, everybody. You clicked it, you got it, and hopefully it's what you expected. The best in spirit-filled gossip music as we broadcast live out of studio that I own and operate in Philadelphia. Of course, it's Studio 236. Once again, if you're celebrating a birthday today, I want to take this time to wish you a very special birthday. It's the end of the month. What are your plans? What are you thinking about as we go into this season of thanks? Every day that the Lord wakes you, you ought to say thank you for a brand new day because it's an opportunity for you to get yourself on the right path and do what God has called you to do. Make sure you take care of your health, as I said earlier in the broadcast. And for those of you that can see the video and many of you who can't see the video, you'll see it a little bit later. Um, I woke up about three o'clock this morning and I had a real bad allergy attack. And um, I began to work on that and I feel much, much better right now. So whatever you do, take care of yourself. Uh, Make sure you drink to your health. And today um, I have mixed up for those of you that can see the live video. This cup actually matches with my shirt. (laughs) It's oolong and ginger. And there are people that can tell you that I've given it to that it really works and it makes you feel good. Let me get a swallow of this before I begin. Mm. I know you hear that sound, right? Yeah, it's good stuff. Make sure that you drink to your health. Um, For those of you that work in certain type of jobs like I do, work around a lot of people, you're around a lot of people all the time, make sure that you get your flu shot. It will protect you. Uh, This is flu season, so you want to definitely take care of yourself um, on a daily basis. I'm going to be out and about. Um, I might just be in your city. So watch my Facebook, watch all the photos, do like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, I'm right there, Trusted Voice and Radio, I do post on Instagram as well, and you can follow me right here on uh, the radio station. We're going to be celebrating nine years, Um, I've been in broadcasting for over 25, but for the station, for the vision that God has given me with our CEO, Mr. Vince Horsey, uh, we're going to be celebrating our ninth radio anniversary, it was nine years ago that God gave me Uh, The vision, the opportunity to create a radio station online, um, and we are certainly pioneers in what we do because Internet radio was just really kicking kicking off them. People didn't know about Internet radio. Well, uh, we are one of the leading stations in Philadelphia that gives you a six format. When God gave me the vision, he said 25 and six. So uh, there we are, six format radio station with... um, Uh, streaming uh, 65k digital and we appreciate uh, many of you for downloading the app and for those of you that are listening on the app we appreciate you we welcome all of those new cities columbus ohio uh, minneapolis we appreciate you guys for listening in Uh, los angeles california that gets up early we thank you new york and baltimore down in the carolinas we have thousands of listeners all over the world and i don't take it for granted that you'd stop by and you clicked on uh, to the radio station to listen to a show that is changing lives well let's get into the word of the lord Again, I've had people hit me up and say, are you a pastor? Are you an elder? We all are ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Someone said, if you were a pastor, I'll come to your church, Simone. That's really nice. (laughs) I want to talk about uh, temporary. I'm not trying to tell you guys how to live your life, but I certainly know from my experience, I do carry my mother's mantle, the late evangelist Jesse Malone, and this word is in me. You got to study the word in order for the Lord to speak to you. You have to open up your Bible prayerfully, read it carefully, and obey it joyfully. There's plenty of great books out there, but when you read the word of the Lord, it's something about the word that motivates you and, and, and it gets in you. It saturates you like a sponge, and the word of God can rinse you and wash you as white. Ask snow. I want to talk about this was on my heart. Uh, the Lord placed in my spirit about a week ago. And I thought that I would execute that word then. But everything is in timing. I, w- I want you guys to know in your life, there are time cycles and some things may not happen for you when you think it's going to happen. It will happen on God's time. And and sometimes we just expect that God is going to do something immediately when we pray. But it just doesn't happen like that. It just does not happen. You're going to go through some things. God is going to bring you to your knees. I know from my own personal experience, but if we learn to have faith and just get close to him and trust him all the way. I'm a living witness. Thank you that he will bring you through. I want to go into the book of first Peter. I want you to read first Peter. You can get your Bible if you want. Uh, first Peter one, three through nine. I want you to read during your devotion, but I want to focus on first Peter one, six. And it simply says in this, you greatly rejoice though now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials. Wow, my God. I know somebody saying amen to that because they're going through something right now. First Peter 1, 6 
it says again, and go right there if you don't believe me. Go right there. It says, in this you greatly rejoice, thou now for a while, if need be, you have been grieved. You have been grieved. You're going through by various, by various trials. You ought to lift your hands right there and say, Lord, thank you for the trial, because at the end of the day, you're going to put a smile on your face and you're going to say thank him for what you've gone through. Some things we accomplish in life requires intense commitment for a short time and the result has lifelong value. Let me say that again. Some things we accomplish in life requires intense commitment for a short time and the results has a lifelong value. Think, for instance, of people who earn a doctorate or a doctorate degree, I would say, in their chosen field. Those diligent people set aside other goals and dedicate their time, money, skills, and hard work for a period of time so they can achieve something that in 50 years will still be matched to their names. I look at my best friend, uh, my, my, my lawyer, uh, who is a, he was a great advisor to me on legal things. He went to Shaw University with me, got his baccalaureate degree, went on to Ohio State, got his master's, and, and then got a Ph.D. and law degree from Georgetown and also have studied at Harvard. That is what I'm talking about, making a lifelong investment and value in yourself. We salute you, Dr. Huber, today. Temporary intense efforts results in lifetime of honor. Temporary intense efforts I'm talking about results in lifetime of honor. Check this out in first Peter. Number one, the apostle described an exchange of tough times for good results. So when you're going through something and you seem like everything is against you, it may be a tough time, but at the end, it's going to be a good result. Well, you're probably saying, Simone, how can it be a good result when I've lost a loved one? Believe me, it will be a good result because God will push you and speak to you and you will learn to deal with the situations of life at ease. I'm a witness of it. When my mother died in my arms 14 years ago that was one of the worst things that I could lose was my mother but God has helped me to get through it and I carry her mantle and I remember her for everything that she said to me so in an exchange of tough times will be will be good results in this case Peter was not talking about formal education check this out though we could call it the school of hard knocks uh-huh he was writing about the temporary tough times that come into our lives even though we haven't chosen them. And he indicated that they can be a lasting benefit. That is profound. That is profound. If you read that story, you'll understand what he's talking about. We rejoice during our trials, not for the trial itself, but for what you believe by your faith. Thank your Father that God will do. So in the midst of your trial, in the midst of your situation that you're dealing with, you have to believe with faith that God will do it. There's a song by Barbara Wood Farm in the Wagner Alumni Choir that says God will do it. How many of you believe that God will do something special for you today? How many of you believe that some of the prayers that you've been asking God in the situations in your life, that God, God will do it for you? Tough times can bring pain and sadness. I know, I know, I know. And they don't seem to promise any good news at all. But Peter told us to greatly rejoice in them. That's First Peter 1, 6 through 7. He wanted us to look ahead to the forever joy that is promised, a joy that will be helped, and you will understand the temporary tough times in your life. It's not always going to be like this. You can bounce back and you can be something great in your life. Remember, you can endure this life's trials because of the next life's joys. Remember that you can enjoy the life's trials because of the next life joys. So some things in our lives are temporary. It's not a permanent address in your life. So I want you to shake yourself today and believe with faith that things are going to work out for you. Even though we're about to close out this year in a couple of months and some of you has been sitting on the sidelines and haven't been doing anything in your life and God has place you in a situation where he's speaking to you and you're wondering why you're not moving forward but I want you to know that place that you're in is not going to always be there Bishop T.D. Jake says stop making temporary uh, decisions for permanent uh, don't make temporary attractions for permanent decisions in your life because God is going to allow some things to change and to shift 
in your life. And it's not going to always be that same. It's not going to always be where you're not working. It's not going to always be where you're not feeling your best and you're sick and you're having all these depressive and mental health issues. It's not going to always be like that. It's only temporary because the best place that we can have is resting with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ one day. You got to do the work that is set before you and God will speak to you if you just take some time and realize that he exists and he's the God of all gods and he will truly bless you. Let's touch and agree. Father God, I thank you for this word today. That Lord, we know that some things that comes into our lives are temporary. I ask you, Father, to go through Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and Twitter. Someone that's listening to my voice and watching this live video moment, God, I ask you to touch them in the name of Jesus Christ, God, because God, they have been dealing with some situations in their life right now, and they believe that it's a permanent decision. No, 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 God, you have the last say. And I ask you, God, to release them from that situation, that you're putting them through something, God, to make them stronger in their life, to build up their self-esteem, to build their life, God, to be a little bit stronger and better and more cooperative. Father God, I ask you to encourage our people as we go into this season of thanks. Lord, we want to thank you today for what you're doing. Build the confidence in our people today to let them know that they can overcome some things and there are better days. There are better days ahead for us, God. God, we don't want to make temporary decisions, God, in our life. We want to make things that we know that's going to affect us for our life that will be a lifelong blessing. And I ask you, God, to touch that mother, touch that sister, God, touch that grandfather, that grandmother, that pastor, that evangelist, God, that gospel singer that's listening in. God, they're dealing with something in their life and you, God, know the answer to the problem. And I ask you, God, to fix it in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Touch him, God. Diabetes and age and flus and all of these conditions, God, they're only temporary, God, because we know that you can heal us. And we ask you right now to do it in the precious name of Jesus Christ. God, somebody, God, is feeling low in their spirit. And I ask you, God, to encourage them. Say to get out of their mind and get out of their thoughts. God, touch them in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. If you believe God, but me say amen. Temporary, temporary. Don't make decisions for yourself. Of course, God will make the decision that will last a lifetime in your life. And I ask you to pray to him and say, Lord, give me direction. Give me the blueprint for my life because he will. He will speak to you. Stop listening to people who's not in the place to encourage you and motivate you because they want to keep you at that state that you are. But God wants you to grow and keep a smile on your face. When you smile, you make the enemy mad. And I ask you to smile today because it makes you feel good. In Jesus' name we pray. If you believe God with me, say amen. There you have it, the inspirational moment. Temporary. When you get a chance, read 1 Peter 1, 3 through 9. 3 through 9 and 1 Peter 1, 6 says again, And this you greatly rejoice. Thou now for a little while, if need be, you have been grieved. You have been grieved by various trials. But you, you can definitely make it live out of Studio 236 on FMHDMS. Temporary, temporary. It's only temporary right here at Studio 236.